Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. It is Monday. I know. I'm just excited. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. A special good morning to Catherine and George, since you two have already said good morning. Hey, uh, thank you so much for being here. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning. Sure, where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership today. I'm going to give you a little bit of Monday. I, You know, I titled the show Monday Morning Motivation or something like that. Um, we'll see how motivating it is. We are very quiet this morning. I'm not being quiet this morning. You're being quiet this morning. All right. Hey, listen, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, do what Catherine and George and Jessica have done. Leave me a comment. Say good morning. Throw that old thumbs up, the like, whatever's appropriate in the uh, venue where you are watching. And man, I'm going to have to do this off of memory. Hang on. I got the notebook. So um, this is what I wanted to share with you this morning. My volume's not low. Seriously. There, is that better? I No, I, I will uh, say, hey, Tara, good morning. I will say I was dinking around with it a little bit, but the guy, the, the little guide thingy here says it's great. All right. So here's what I wanted to share with you this morning. I put this quote out on uh, my Facebook page yesterday. We'll see where it goes. All right, good. Thank you, George. You cannot take credit for your successes unless you also take responsibility for your losses. Now, we we talk a lot here about how to create success, how to create the life that you crave. Stop letting life happen to you. Begin to create the life that you crave. But it occurred to me as I was doing a little um, work on this stuff over the weekend that we can focus a lot on creating the success and still not accept responsibility for the things that don't go well. So I I really hate calling them failure. We'll call them losses. We have to accept responsibility for those also. I've recently reread a book uh, called Extreme Ownership, which is really funny because (laughs) uh, the guy that wrote the book, Jocko Willick, done a great job of codifying (laughs) what I've known since I was in the Army 30 years ago. Um. But at at its core, at the gist of it, what it really means is you have to accept responsibility for everything, the good and the bad, right? And and it's it's unreasonable, it's intellectually dishonest, it's whatever you want to call it, to say that, yes, the wins are because of me and the losses are because of all you other people. It, It just doesn't work that way. Now... You know, part of the challenge in this is that we're not used to thinking about it that way. And I I think I've probably told you, oh, stumbles, I like that. That's a good one, Catherine. I think I've probably told you at some point the story uh, of one of my past businesses where my partner and I got sideways with each other, really, really sideways. Things were really not going well. Very ugly breakup. And years afterward, um... I've I've been able to look at that and be okay with it and move on. And the way that I did that was by saying, I accepted responsibility for making a bad choice to get into a partnership with him. My choice. I made a bad choice. So now I can forgive myself for that. I can acknowledge that for what it was, and I can move on. Right? Otherwise... 
I could still be sitting here, wow, over a decade later, saying, man, what a jerk. He really screwed things up, blah, 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 all the, the you know negative connotations I wanted to and not accept any of that. But it has made me, consequently, accepting responsibility for that has made me better, more diligent and better at picking people to work with. Right, so that's how I've taken taken that circumstance and used it to improve the quality of the work that I produce. That's kind of the the principle behind this thought that I I want you to walk away with today. You cannot take credit for your successes unless you also take responsibility for your losses. Right, we're going to continue doing a lot of work to help line you up for success, especially when we try and get a little bit of ramp and runway started as we get into the new year Um, and and launch into 2019 really well. And And you guys know me well enough to know I'm not one that wants to dwell in the past. I don't want you to to go back and, and beat yourself up over the things that didn't go well. What I want you to do is when things don't go well, say, okay, what could I do differently? To make this turn out different next time. What could I do differently? I mean, you know, and look, for every, I'll just go ahead and say this, right? Still toed boots morning this morning. To blame someone else is to make an excuse. I mean, it's easy. It's easier to blame someone else because you can't always see what it was that you did or didn't do or could have done differently, right? So I'm I'm not, by no stretch am I saying you need to mull over those things and keep beating yourself up. What I want you to do is understand what you could have done better so that we don't do it again next time. All right, that's it. I'm going to stop beating that horse. I think I have gotten the message across. Great comments going on there, especially. Uh, yeah, Catherine's got some fantastic ones this morning. If you aren't willing, oh, that's what I said. That's awesome. If you aren't willing to accept responsibility, you will never have the power to move forward in purpose. Well, look, and here, I said I was going to quit, but I've got one more thing to say. If you blame someone else for a failure or for a loss, then that means it was never up to you in the first place. Oh, think about that one for a minute. Just put that one in your coffee cup and sip on it for the next few minutes. See where that one takes you. I hope you guys have a magnificent Monday. I'm going to do my part, and uh, I'll be back here again tomorrow with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. You guys take care, and I'll talk to you then.